Well, as we watch this growing terror threat in the Middle East, there continues to be a school of thought that America is getting what it deserves. And one man who believes that is former University of Colorado professor Ward Churchill, who just sat down with yours truly for a Kelly File exclusive interview. Here's a little bit of that. You yourself poured salt in the wounds of the victims of 9-11 and their families. So how can you claim the moral high ground when it comes to causing pain, causing destruction, when you, at the most vulnerable moment, did the very same thing to them? Which is exactly the point again. This is done day in, day out, You're pointing continuously. to somebody else. I'm talking about you, Professor. Take responsibility for your own actions. My responsibility is to do exactly what I did, which is show you what it feels like. If you're too dense to get it, okay. But you, I would assume me, that there are people out there who be, are not, including some of the uh, victims' family members, did, I might add. What? Which, what about them? I got communications from them, and I also have them on file saying, yeah, I get it now. Yeah, I'm sure they think you're a peach. Did you have to be so glib about it? Did it you wasn't have a personal so thing. They don't think I'm a peach. Maybe they do. I wouldn't know. What they had did was understand the point. Did you have to be so glib about it? Joining me now, Dinesh D'Souza, the creator of the documentary film America, who has also interviewed Ward Churchill at length and joined me at the conclusion of that interview for a debate with the professor. Dinesh, thanks for being here. And so Ward Churchill came under fire in this country uh, because on the day of 9-11, with the bodies still smoldering, he called the victims in the, tri in the Twin Towers little Eichmanns, comparing them to a murderous Nazi. Remarks he continues to stand by to this day. And Ward Churchill's thoughts about America and terror are relevant as we go into, into the 9-11 mark this year, 13 years later, why? Because there are, Megan, uh, people all around the world who uh, wish ill um, on America. And some of those people, uh, particularly some of them in the Middle East, would like to uh, blow us up. They'd like to destroy us. Now, the question becomes, are they to blame for that? Or are we to blame for somehow causing them to feel this way mm -hmm. and causing them to behave this way? Uh, and there's a whole school of thought in this country, very influential, um, uh, represented by Ward Churchill. He's kind of a dramatic example of it, who basically argue that ultimately it's our fault. It's our fault for what we do, and it's also our fault for what they do. We have to take the blame, and we have to, in a sense, contain ourselves, not block them. Why... Why is it relevant what, what this man thinks, even when it comes to a subject like that? I mean, does he speak for a larger segment of the population in terms of his influence, Dinesh? Yeah, you know, on the face of it, uh, you've interviewed now Megan Bill Ayers, and you're now taking on Ward Churchill. Now, uh, on the face of it, these guys are extremists. And some people may, might say, well, why are you featuring these extremists? Mm -hmm. uh, the reason is that the extremists on the left do not occupy the same position as extremists on the right. Uh, on the right, if you have some skinhead or some Ku Klux Klansman, that guy has zero influence on the Republican Party, zero influence on conservatism. But on the left, these extremists, who make claims like America's evil, America is a force for genocide, they are in a sense the moral conscience of American progressivism. True, most progressives don't want to blow up the Pentagon, they won't say that we deserve 9-11, but the idea that America is the bad guy, that's something that they routinely teach in the schools, and that's why guys like Bill Ayers can teach in colleges and universities, they can write textbooks, they're completely respectable on the American left, and it's not until you put them under the gun and put them under scrutiny that they are for the first time, often in decades, held directly accountable for what they do and what they say. That's where it is. It's it because they have power and did for years in the field of academia and they influence the next generation coming up and the, it becomes an echo chamber between the other professors and themselves. And Dinesh, I, I am very much looking forward to showing the viewers this shocking interview that I want to tell the viewers, because at times it's hard to watch what, what he says, but we're going to air it in a couple parts, then Dinesh will come on, and, there, and I think this is the best part, was the debate between you and Ward, where you guys really get into it about what America really is and isn't. We'll have that for you next week. Dinesh, great to see you. A pleasure.